Act. Her former boss, Darren Wick, allegedly sexually harassed her in public, groping her and breathing heavily down her neck. In an emotional interview, the presenter spoke about how she was so distraught by the toxic culture under Wick that she raised it with a board member, but nothing was done. The star, who has agreed to tell her story but doesn't want to be named, said many female colleagues were revolted by Wick's behaviour. She also claims that complaints about his alleged conduct were dismissed by a senior female executive who said, that's just Wicky. The revelation from one of Nine's recognisable faces exposes the network to accusations that at the very highest levels it covered up or ignored a toxic culture that saw other female employees experience harassment by its news chief. Nine Chief Executive Mike Sneesby addressed the crisis engulfing Nine in an all-staff email today where he said that inappropriate behaviour in the workplace wasn't tolerated and that complainants wouldn't be victimised. Well, Darren Wick, the former Director of News and Current Affairs, left the network in March claiming he was exhausted after four decades in the industry. Sky News has this week exposed allegations of his historical inappropriate conduct towards women at nine. And today, a nine star took the courageous step of publicly revealing what she has been subjected to at the network. She said she was speaking to me to help with her healing process, but also to encourage change so that the next generation of women don't have to endure the same treatment. And the star spoke about the sexual harassment she allegedly experienced by Wick when he was intoxicated. She said on the dance floor at the Gold Coast Logies after party, he was gropey. He had his hands everywhere. Breathing heavily in my ear, I had to peel him off me. Any other man I might have kicked or pushed, but he was my boss. And she said Wick was often drunk and inappropriate. She said it was commonplace for him to drink heavily at functions and he would often get in women's personal space. We were revolted by him. The presenter spoke about Nine's head of corporate affairs, Victoria Buchan. Now, Buchan's role is director of communications and public relations at Nine, where she leads both corporate affairs and publicity. So it's not her role to manage or deal with HR issues, but multiple employees I've spoken to this week felt that her actions protected Wick, with whom she's good friends. And she was also often involved in managing talent. Well, the Nine Star told me today that Victoria Buchan's job involved working with the talent, including young women. She would brush aside any suggestion of inappropriate behaviour, saying, that's just Wicky. I think she could have stood up to the sexist attitudes, but she was in cahoots with Darren Wick. She said planting stories was commonplace during contract negotiations as a way of diminishing talent and bullying them into submission. Management would then gaslight you, saying they had no idea how confidential details that only a few were privy to were leaked. Now, it was at this point in our conversation today that the Nine presenter became more upset when she spoke about how she tried to raise the toxic culture at the highest level, but nothing happened. The presenter even raised with a board member how the culture was affecting her mental health and her reputation. And she told me, I once spoke in confidence to a board member expressing my desperation that my own bosses were planting lies that were incredibly damaging to my reputation and affecting my mental health. There was no assistance provided by the network to source the leaks, stamp out the toxic behaviour or change the culture. And after the board level, there's nowhere to go and I was fearful of losing my job. Through tears and clearly emotional, the presenter said she felt completely powerless. Now, this is extraordinary. A high-profile woman was brave enough to raise what she described as a toxic culture 
at the highest level as a director of the board. No action was taken. Now the board of Channel 9 is chaired by former treasurer Peter Costello and I contacted Costello, Victoria Buchan and Darren Wick today for comment. They haven't responded. This week at Sky News we've revealed that Wick was handsy with nine employees at a Christmas party that he engaged in inappropriate conduct at the 2019 Logies after party, that Nine engaged an external legal firm to investigate a fresh complaint against him this year. The firm was unable to substantiate it, but the board felt it best to let Wick go, given his past behaviour. And yet he was seen back in the Nine newsroom in late April. Nine Chief Executive Mike Sneesby sent an email to staff today saying that many of you will have seen external media over the last few days that draws attention to our internal processes and policies regarding complaints about conduct in the workplace. It is important for everyone at Nine to know that we don't tolerate inappropriate behaviour in the workplace and want to know if there is inappropriate behaviour occurring so that it can be addressed promptly. Now, Wick's departure from Nine after 29 years was prompted by the fresh complaint of inappropriate behaviour by an employee in the newsroom. But when Wick left the company, he sent out a memo saying, after many long beach walks and even longer conversations, I know in my heart that this is the right time for me to step down and leave Nine. I don't want to use the word retiring because I don't know how to sit idle, but I'm going to take a very long break from what has been four decades of working as a journalist. He said, I'm tired and need a rest. And Nine's director of television, Michael Healy, praised Wick's enormous impact, saying that his recent work heading up the news division came at a time of great transformation.